Best guest of Eddie Murphy that never made air. We love you on SNL, and we're loving you on your Hulu oh, show, thanks. Shrill. Eddie, welcome to our new set right here. Yes. Very gorgeous. So, so, Eddie, what was it like that week of SNL when Eddie was there? Oh, it was a dream come true. I mean, it really was surreal because I think a lot of us felt like, oh, he'll never host again. He hasn't been back in so long, but. It was amazing, and he was so good. He was so good. What about shooting that particular scene right there? That oh, was funny. I, I was so nervous yeah. because it's very hard to look someone in the eyes and say nasty stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was Eddie Murphy, you know. But we made it through. So, and he Nailed was so it. nice about it too. So many uh, different guest hosts, of course. Uh, anyone surprised you the most? Like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize he'd be so. Oh, wow. I mean, so many. I, you know who was very, like, sweet and tender and thoughtful was Dave Chappelle. Like, and yeah. I was so intimidated by him, and he was so lovely. Oh, yeah. that's cool to hear. Yeah, no, yeah. he's a really nice it guy. It was great yeah. to see yeah. Eddie come back. Anybody from the old cast, if you could have your dream person oh. come back, who would it be? Oh, I think for me it would be Molly Shannon. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and I, that's like who I watched when I was growing up, and I was totally obsessed with her. Nice, yeah. nice. So professionally and personally, everything going well, and you've been married a couple years now, right? Yeah, almost a couple almost years. Almost two years. Almost two years. Yes. Congrats. <laughs> what, what's changed since um, uh, you got a ring? <laughs> oh gosh. Well, um, you know, combined finances. <laughs> Tax breaks. Yes, that's been huge Tax for us. Good. Wait, put him back up. He's so cute. How did y'all meet? Oh, he looks yeah. very sensible. Yeah, he's good. Oh, that's a really old one. Um, <laughs> yeah, we met in Chicago. We both were doing comedy. Yeah. In Second oh. City? Did you uh, meet him? There? No, we met at a place called the Annoyance Theater. Yeah. The Annoyance. Oh, okay. Chicago love right here. But you did, in fact, perform with Second City in Chicago. Yeah, that's right. right. I did for. A couple years. That's where I was when like Lauren Michaels and the producers yeah. at SNL came and saw me. So you know you're from Phoenix. Yeah. How did you end up in Chicago? Yeah, well I'd started doing comedy a little bit in Phoenix, just like as a high schooler, you know, and I heard about kind of Second City and what was happening in Chicago and I was like, oh that's where I want to go. You know, because Tina Fey and Stephen yeah. Colbert, all those greats, Chris Farley, they all came from Second City, Arlen. so I was like, that's where I'm going. And that's your audition awesome. for Lauren, we hear from so many other people yeah. what the audition was like. Yeah. How was yours? Was it intimidating? I heard he doesn't laugh. He just sits there. It sounds like the scariest thing ever. I just didn't look at him once. <laughs> I just was like tunnel vision. What was your sketch? Do you remember what you did? Yeah, I did. Uh, I, well, I had to audition twice, so I did two sets of auditions, but uh, one, one thing I did was like a Dolly Mae Daniels and her all ex-husband <laughs> band. It was sort of like a Dolly Parton <laughs> style character, and I don't know. I played Adele and Ethel Merman, a couple this random. Right. Yeah. Diverse. Yes, That's... you know, you want to show them what yeah. you can do. You, you also worked on a cruise ship back oh, in the day, right? Yeah, my husband and I did it together, actually. Really? Yeah. Was that romantic? Or... Did you no. share a cabin? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah, it was through Second City, but we lived on a cruise ship for four months and did wow. shows. Yeah. Ooh. How was that? Not my fave. <laughs> Not my fave. Um, yeah, tough crowds because, you know, they're basically having margaritas all day long. Yeah. And then at 9 p.m., you're going to do a show for them, and they're drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're hammered. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on SNL, it's always my favorite when y'all break. Oh, okay. Is there anybody that's a standard going to make you break within the cast? I feel like Kate and Cecily are <laughs> my number one nemeses in, in breaking me, always. And do you laugh about it afterwards? Like, I can't believe I broke, or is it a topic of conversation? Yeah, totally. And also, now we've been there long enough, we know when we're on camera and off camera. So, like, if you're off camera, you're just staring <laughs> them right, down, right. trying to get them to laugh. Yeah. Well, well congrats, but, too, on your second season yes. for sure. Oh, that's, 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 that's awesome. <laughs> So where do we find Annie? She quits her job. Yeah, right? she's quit her job. She's kind of blown up her whole life because she's had this epiphany about, like, not wanting to, you know, hate herself anymore. And so she's trying to kind of go after her own thing. But it's almost like she overcorrects and goes a little too hard. <laughs> and so that's kind of where she's at this season. Yeah. And this is you and Lauren Michaels, right? Yeah, and Elizabeth Banks. And Elizabeth Banks yeah. right here. Oh, What's the most great. awkward scene you've had to shoot with this, with Annie? Because there are some doozies. Wow. Yeah, I mean, tough to choose. There have been a lot. <laughs> 
maybe any of the sex scenes, <laughs> which there have been many. So, um, yeah, those would be the ones. <laughs> and your character is actually based on the writer's life. That's right. right, yeah. It's based on a memoir by Lindy West called Shrill, and she helps us write the show, yeah. Oh, fun. Yeah. That's a little pressure, though, right? Totally. Playing somebody real. So what, what kind of advice, what does she say to you, or what does she want to get out of this? Well, she's lovely, and, and you know, we created this together with our showrunner, Ali Rushfield. So thankfully, she's cool with it. But, you know, there were times where I'm like, is this okay? Is this making you feel weird? And usually the answer is yes. <laughs> You're doing it right. <laughs> yeah, it's working. <laughs> Uh, what would you think of the news that uh, Tina and Amy are going to do the Globes next year? Obviously, year? dream come true. To me, I'm like, I only ever want to watch them. So it's the best. That's going to be fantastic yeah. right there. Um, you showed Jimmy Fallon about a wardrobe mistake. Oh, yeah. That threw you into a fit of giggles. What happened? We need to know everything. Yeah. Please tell us it's something great. I mean, basically, uh, we were doing a sketch, and there were so many changes between dress and air that, like, all the cues kind of got messed up. And so they accidentally sent a wardrobe person out onto stage while we were on oh, camera. Oh, I saw this! This was fantastic! <laughs> it was so crazy. And so basically then we had to keep going and act like a crew member hadn't just walked right. on. And I was like, this is way Wait, off I the rails. Walking, I couldn't tell if it was supposed to happen right. or not uh, happen. Yeah, I can tell you it was not supposed to happen. <laughs> what happened to that crew member? No, oh, she's, she's great. She's been there forever. And her mom actually is Keenan's dress. Yes, sir. So she's she's going strong. She okay, didn't so get in trouble. Good. That happened here one time live. Somebody on our stage came out and they're like, "Do you need this blanket?" And I'm like, "Is this part of this?" Like, <laughs> I didn't know. Do you guys remember this? And we're like, "What is happening?" And yeah. like, or am I on part of a joke? Like, I didn't know. Yeah, you don't want to make that a habit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we'll check out the new season of Shrill on Hulu, January 24th.